ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the demo of Funko Fusion. Now, essentially, this is kind of like a, uh, I think it was old Toys to Life games, like Lego Universe or Lego Dimensions. But instead, it's Funko Pops, and we're not using actual toys to play the game. Uh, now, looking at this menu screen, I can tell a couple of little references. I could see Back to the Future, I could see Chucky, I can see Five Nights at Freddy's. But tell me in the comment section if you guys see any other references hidden within this little area right here. Uh, now I did start a save and I didn't really get far because the game kept lagging so I had to change my encoder settings to see if that fixed it. So if the game still bugs out, something wrong with the game. So we're gonna see what happens. Now as always, if you lads finally enjoy this channel, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy my goofy crap, any engagements you guys leave helps this channel to grow. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, and comments helps us to get out to new users, allowing us as a community to grow and I appreciate your help. I would also appreciate if you guys could go ahead and leave a like or a subscription, that'd be fantastic. But with that said, let's focus on the game. Oh, also, feel free to join our Discord. Link in the description. But, yeah, so it looks like we're starting off with the Thing characters. I don't remember this character from the Thing, but I remember the other three gentlemen. Uh, so we have McCready, who... Also, the actor also played as Snake Plissken, and Snake Plissken inspired Big Boss. Child, who I believe was the last guy to survive at the end of the Thing. Uh, Nollis, I don't remember his name. I don't remember who he is. And then MT Gary, again, I don't really remember these characters. But knowing what we're going to be doing, I got to start as this guy. Because for some reason, he's the only character that can continue, like, the beginning part. Like I said, I started this a little bit. I didn't get very far. But the game just started bugging out on me. Alright, so... A now, like, after having tweaked some things, the game seems to be working better. For some reason, it might have been OBS, um, the game was just struggling bad, man. Like, it was lagging. Oh, thank goodness you're here! The factory's been overrun with strange purple creatures named Prison to me. Maybe if you shoot the locks, you can set me free. Oh, thank you so much for saving me. It was really starting to smell in there. Now, I don't really see your name on my list. Is there someone over in that box? Wait, what? Fuck you, Fox. Okay. Maybe Pliskin? Swap characters. Okay, so it's literally just to force you to swap a character. I mean, I'd rather play Pliskin, honestly, because, like I said, he inspired Big Boss. Come on. Wow. How do I force you to swap? If I run around, because I don't know really how the whole swapping be, unless they, they want, like, they force you to play that character. Ah, there we go, McCready. There we go, big boss. Oh, it's you! Great to see you again! Even the last time I tried this, you didn't like this character. Wait, did you hear that? Oh no, they're back! Okay. You deserve that box. You just sit in there. Yeah. I mean, this game's cute. It's very simple. Um, definitely an all ages kind of thing. Are we done here? Nope. We still got these guys. Right in there. Soda is, um, you know, it's so good for you that it increases your health. And remember, kids, drink lots of soda. It won't lead to diabetes or any other horrible illnesses that could possibly kill you in the future. All right, so we're going to crack these open. Take this thing of a jig. Plug it into this thing of a jig. Grab this other shiny thing of a jig. 
and more thingies and jiggies. Does anybody recognize these pop figures? Like, I'm looking at them, I, I don't remember Chester McFreckle. I don't know who that is. What is that? Slog with grub? What the hell's a slog? What the hell's a grub? Oh, okay, maybe the insect. But... I guess, maybe. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, wait, right, so I need to go to the computer. Make the thing of a jig. Grab the bouncy thing of a jig, and then we're gonna plop it right there. Oh. No? Right there? There we go. And here we are! See, the weird thing is, like, the game does this load thing with cutscenes where, like, it fades to black and then snaps into a cutscene, which is kind of weird. It's just very jarring, that's why it just doesn't feel right. It's not terrible, it's just not good, especially in this day and age. Yikes on a... Uh, I think I can't speak, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Yikes on bike, something very strange is happening. This purple plasma has affected every wonder world, even yours. Worst thing is, we don't even know where it's coming from. Again, this black screen, like, come on. Does that guy have a wheel on his ass? He has a wheel in his ass. Why why do you have a wheel up your ass? Oh my god. It's Freddy's coke addicted cousin. I like how he's giving us a second point. After all these years trapped between the cracks and the wonder well, I'm finally free. Even if I'm confined to this dead-eyed misshapen form. I suppose I should give myself a name. Ah, I'm not quite Freddy. I'm all kinds of evil. How about Ed? <laughs> Excellent. And where's that crown? And then snaps into a cutscene. It, it's just weird. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, uh. uh yeah, there's no coming back from that. He ain't gonna be in the sequel. Yeah, this is running a lot better than it did before. And of course, it's going to be up to me to save the day, because why wouldn't it? You know, like, we're in this day and age now where a lot of video games that we get are, um, you know, they, they, tra they don't, the cutscene transitions from gameplay, right? So you'll be playing the game, and then it just goes straight into a cutscene, but it doesn't black out like that. So to see a modern day game, especially from a company like Funko, like, I'm sorry, this is their first game, I would say, you want to make a gun brush. So, I don't know if that's me just being a spoiled little shit, but, I don't know, it, it's just kind of weird. I mean, the gameplay is fine. It's pretty basic. There's nothing really to write home about. It's nothing like, oh my god, it's amazing! Characters with unique abilities! Like, it's, yeah, we just did it. Um, though that doesn't take from the game, it's cute for what it is. There we go. Oh, okay. 
That's what I'm saying. It's just like you're in the middle of a firefight and then all of a sudden it snaps into a cutscene. That's why I'm like, it's just weird. Yeah. You know, I want to ask you guys something in the comment section. The characters, when they come out of their little Funko boxes, right? Would you prefer them to like to pop out of the top or something or break through the plastic? Or do you think it's fine with them just phasing through the plastic wall? You tell me, I, I kind of think it would be more fun to have them like pop out of the top of the box or something to kind of spring out. Kind of like a Super Mario Brothers thing with Mario popping out of height. Again, just my personal opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. He's just gonna bug off, okay. You, do you have any idea how many pop figures this game's already inspiring now? You know for a fact when this game releases, there's gonna be a plethora of pop figures. You have regular Freddy, you're gonna have half skeleton Freddy. Don't worry about me, tis but a scratch. Poor Foxo. And he turned him into that? Whatever it was. If he can do that to Foxo, think of what he could do to everything else. Now Eddie has the crown and he can corrupt all the Wonder Worlds. However, the crown has split its essence into a multitude of copies, which means he can be stopped. You need to find enough of those crowns before he can. Now quick, get back to your own world and find those crowns. Take this key and good luck. Okay. I think I've said this before on this channel a couple of times. Like, I do want to get into like voice acting and stuff like that. Um, I think it would be really cool to just you know have that as a career. Um, I think it would also be really awesome to be part of something like some kind of series and become a character that people know you for. Like, that would be awesome. I I've mentioned this on stream. Like, uh, the best person I can think of for that would be uh, the guy who plays as Johnny Rico from uh, Starship Troopers. Like, whenever people have seen him in the pu in public and they call him, you know, Johnny Rico or they say anything in reference to the Starship Troopers, he snaps into character. So that would be fun. Right, so this is starting off pretty much like the same way that the, uh, the thing started off. So yeah, the Norwegians are chasing after the Husky, shooting at it. And for some reason, our character's pissed drunk. I'm just gonna say, with all the gunshots, um, there wasn't a lot of urgency there. Like the gunfire was already hitting. There. I was like, huh? Huh? Oh shit! We're being shot at. Okay. But anyway, I was gonna say was, I d I want to get into voice acting, but sometimes doing voices like screws with my my voice. Like my throat just starts not feeling so great. Um. So the main enemy that we're going to be fighting is the Norwegians? Why? They weren't even the primary threat of this... They, they weren't even a threat of the movie. They were just there because they were chasing after the thing. So, if you haven't seen the movie... By the way, at this point, it's a super old movie. I think it's the 90s. Um, the reason... So, we're in like the North Pole. And there's a bunch of these research facilities in different countries. So the Norwegians were chasing after that husky. The reason why was because it wasn't actually a normal husky. It was actually an alien shapeshifter that came down to Earth and it started killing off their people. So they were actively trying to kill it so that way it wouldn't spread and hopefully get out to the public. Or they were hoping that it wouldn't get to the public, is what I should say. So that's why they were attacking the Southwest. They're not looking to kill us, like we're, we're Americans. They're not looking to fight us, they're looking to kill that dog. So, well, because like I said, it's not actually a dog, it's. You know, an alien, uh, oh, okay, so it's just gonna screw up and I can't shoot it down. Disappointing. Um, okay. Oh, I can make coat, uh, soda. Alright. I guess I gotta look for the doggos.
I kind of find it funny though that they're like, they, uh, how do I explain this? I'm trying to think of the right wording. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. But yeah, I kind of find it funny that they're using a horror game for, I'm sorry, a horror movie for, uh, a, I wouldn't call it a kid's game, because I, I guess they're trying to make it more of an all ages kind of thing. Why not get that crap shot at me? Alright, this character doesn't have any other weapons. I'm assuming that's the guy we gotta kill. There we go. But no, it's just weird that it's the Norwegians that we're fighting. Like, I was actually just playing the thing recently. And... In that game, you're fighting a bunch of these little, uh, thing monster creature things. Um... So that's why I'm like, why didn't they just do that? Like, why didn't they just start this off slow where we're like, alright, cool, we're at the facility. The Norwegians, you know, they tried to kill the dog, failing to screw off, kind of like the way they did in the movie. If I remember correctly, I think they just kind of screwed off. Like, they didn't, uh... You know, they're like, alright, well, it's the Americans' problem now. I don't remember them really staying and fighting too much. Oh my god, people, these guys have to off. Oh god. Alright, I gotta fall back to the Uh, how do I... There we go. Alright, so we gotta go ahead and murder these guys. Yes. Screw them, I'm just gonna try to find my way in. So, it's gonna be one of those games where enemies just never stop spawning. Okay. Oh, you're gonna follow me in! This is breaking some kind of treaties. Remind me in the comment section, was it North Pole or Alaska this movie takes place in? The thing I'm... I want to say it was the North Pole? Alright. Why is everything exploding? Oh god. Where did you come from? And again, why are they the major antagonists right now? It should be the thing. Oh, and oh, I get it. Nick gets it. Okay, I gotta basically fix all the pipes because for some reason no one's maintaining this facility. I turn that off. Okay, so that's still getting... No, it's not. Huh. So then, what, I need another tank or something? Alright, I probably gotta search around. Alright, so we found one of our guys. Have you seen any gas canisters? I need to melt this gate down. Oh, okay. We don't... We just don't have a key or anything? Not like this is in our facility or something, like, you know, not like we don't have access to the variety of facilities and rooms. 
this is what he's talking about? Like that? Okay, because that. Oh, I get it. Cause everything's supposed to be like a final. Last thing. puppy no no we don't shoot the dog oh okay so to get the crown we gotta get a bunch of uh so this is basically kind of following the formula of uh like the lego games So I know I gotta bring this to like a green or blue machine. Oh, okay. Gotta figure this map out. And for some reason we have Mega Man here? Um, you know, I don't remember Mega Man in the thing. Okay. And items carry over. Alright, so I got the dog, but he's... Alright. Yeah, you guys remember that scene in the, you know, the thing when Mega Man got involved? Use it, was it the Mega Buster? Use the Mega Buster to go ahead and kill that thing? Yeah. It's also kind of bad that they literally call the alien the thing. So when you try to describe it, like, hey, remember the thing? I know, it's so specific, the thing- Oh my god. You goddamn Norwegian, stop shooting at me! Can't charge a shot. Oh, okay. I have no idea how this is gonna work out, so I'm just gonna- go. Uh, oh, here we go. The idea machine. Oh, those idea things disappear after a while. Okay, so I gotta like... Wait, or no, no, they don't. Never mind. Alright, so I'm gonna waddle this all the way back there, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. I think I'm supposed to just leave the dogs here. Uh, what does this do? Okay, that did a thing and that's now counting down. I have no idea. Alright, so the dog's gonna be a good boy and he's gonna chill there. Oh. Oh, okay. I gotta find all four of those switches then. Oh, okay. Gotta wait for my stamina to come back up and then I can, uh, hit it. Gonna hit that and then book it. There we go. How much time is left? Five seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Actually, hold on. I have an idea. I'm assuming this is going to grant me more stamina. Or it's just going to replenish my... Oh, yeah, there you go. I also kind of hate how long that cutscene is. Or the animation of the character drinking. Because not only is he done drinking it, but then he has to crush the bottle. It's like, bro, seriously? Come on, come on, come on. I'm not gonna make it. Damn it. Even with infinite stamina. This has gotta be like a multiplayer thing. Oh my god, come on. Alright, screw it. I don't care. 
I, I don't care enough. All right, we gotta find these damn dogs. There we go, just gonna set that off. Cool, so the fire is gonna melt the ice and we should be able to get whatever the hell this is. As soon as the ice goes away. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, correction. I gotta find a thing to shove into there so that way I can shove it into there and then, okay. So this game is a major collectathon. Not a bad thing if that's something you're into. So if you like this kind of game where you're running around from A to B searching for objects and then having to stick one thing in object A, or, or rather, as the terminology be, uh, object A into slot B and so forth. Uh, if that's your cup of tea, then that's this game. Um, if you're not one that particularly cares about that sort of thing, then maybe give this one a pass. Uh, it's a cute game for what it is. I, I might be willing to do a playthrough on this, honestly. Like when the game releases, depending on how much it goes for. Like if it's like 20, 30 bucks, maybe. Um, anything more than that, I'm like, nah, I wouldn't. Then again, knowing to, uh, nowadays the way things are, economically speaking, it might be, it might be looking around that price. I would love to be able to shoot that helicopter down. Oh, wait, did I actually knock it out or? No, it's just going to retreat. Oh, here we got another doggo. And we have He-Man. I have no idea why we have He-Man here, but screw it, why not? Hey, he can shoot magic. My man has a sword, and he shoots. So, remind me, why doesn't He-Man swing his sword? Kinda weird. Alright, so just realize that I can actually look in here and pop this lock and then there's gotta be another one. Uh, right there. We gotta wait for that to melt and then we can pop it. to go in there. We're trying to free the dog. Why the hell were you locked up there in the first place? Like, who the hell locked him up? We're, we didn't even get to that point in the movie yet where we'd be concerned about which dog it is. Alright, so we saved three of the puppers. Alright, so I have this door here. I don't know what... Okay. Oh! Oh, is this a door that was exclusive to this character? Okay, not bad. I don't I don't mind that. It encourages you to come back and look over things again. When of course there's something worth watching then you fuse. Alright, we gotta be mindful. I need to find. He-Man also doesn't do too much range damage. So I need to go here. Hold out this. And they're gonna start shooting at me again. Make sure there's nothing here that I can use now. Okay. Can't get up there. No, can you guys like not? That'd be awesome. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. I screwed up. Hold on, can I pick this back up? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Oh my god, come on. You in. There we go. Oh, but I need to be able to... Okay, I got it. So, I gotta get... 
Oh my god, dude, seriously? And the game just froze. Why did the game freeze? Why did the game just freeze? I got shot at and the game froze. Okay. Um. I think the game just literally froze. Oh wait, no, there we go. No, I died, that's why. So. Oh, I need to go find my box, okay. Aggravating these, these units, they just don't go away. Like, you can't kill that helicopter. It'd be nice if you could clear the area, but they just keep coming back. There we go. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't want to fall off the roof again. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna totally ignore that and just ignite myself. Fantastic. Oh god! Uh, Alright, that's a detail I actually kinda like. That you can end up melting yourself. Alright. I, I kinda like that. Oh my god, these friggin' Norwegians. Dude, just die, please. Then I shoot him down and he just comes back later. Listen, this is He-Man. He should be able to go in the snow. Alright, the man should be like 20 times the snow. Come on. the interior of their model, so I'm assuming I can use this springboard to get up there. But yeah, it's, I think it goes without saying this game has its good and bad. Um, I think the perpetually spawning enemies is annoying. Um, I know I cracked a joke about it, but I actually don't mind there being different characters in the thing. Like, you know, having He-Man and Mega Man in here. That's kind of cute, because it does make you wonder what other characters you're going to run into. So, I don't mind it. Uh, it's cute for what it is. Uh, have I been in here yet? I think this was the starting area, actually. Okay. Um... The game, find and rescue all the huskies. The game doesn't really give you too much in the way of, like, clues. I know it said go for the huskies, but it's like, alright, where the hell are these furballs? I still find it funny that I was able to melt his face off. I wonder what this game's game, like, the actual ESRB rating is. I mean, I can't, it's definitely not an M. Like, I definitely can't see it being M. Um, maybe T? But that's kind of a... Uh, I don't know, I feel like that... I just can't see it really being T. I would want to think E, but for the fact that you can turn people into skeletons and you can just see Freddy being as, like, dilapidated as he ends up getting. Oh. I just feel stupid. Alright, so let's check this out. Really? Do you guys know when to quit? Damn, why are they just chaining up these dogs? It's the movie! The whole point was to kill the husky, not to catch it. They wanted it dead because they were afraid that it was the alien. Oh, yeah, no, I need this. Oh my god. 
And where are the uh, other researchers that are supposed to be here that should be helping me defend myself? Alright, let me see where I can plug this uh, fuse into. Alright, after running around this place for a good five minutes, I found the fuse. C8. There's something here. Where is that? In the back of the facility? Let me see if I can get back out there, because I, I think I was just out there. Yeah, right here. That's what they're talking about right there. Uh, do I have any fuel barrels? Oh, there's a thing right there. There was one in here, so this is where you start off in the beginning. You actually spawn in over there. Uh, there's a fuel tank that you can shoot from right over here. Um, started messing around. I tried to figure out a few things. I actually realized I'm dumb. I couldn't figure out why that uh, pipe why uh, I wasn't able to actually open it up or anything. It was a head scratcher to say the least. I'm saying, why the hell can I not get this puzzle working? And I think I realized why I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna feel very stupid when I give it a shot because I think I have an idea of what's wrong with me. Or what, what's wrong with me. Oh my God, where did you, where did you? Oh wait. So one thing that's really annoying about this is you have to play the maps in one sitting. Leaving a match or leaving a world will result in you losing all your progress. So that does kind of suck. Gonna throw that in there. Uh, hit this. And then... And that's what I was doing wrong. Yep. That's exactly what I was doing wrong. Um, excuse me. That's what I was doing wrong last time. That's why I'm dumb. And then there's a thingy in there. What is that? A skeleton? Yeah. Oh, it's it is a skeleton. And there's our level two key card. Fantastic. And there's the last pupper. Hey, look, it's Freddy! What does Freddy get? A gun? Ooh. By the way, I also learned, um, yes, he does. He gets a... Okay, neat. But I also learned that he is a melee attack. I'm dumb. I didn't realize that was the exact thing. Uh, I just was the exact thing. So, what I've been doing is I've just been playing this like a normal character. If I hit X, though, my character will actually fight. So, I'm dumb. I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not, but I'm collecting them. I only got one more player to collect them. We're gonna bring this little pupper back over here. And hope that I'm not a dumb dumb. Because there's a very likely probability that what I end up doing was I cut the last video off about 40 minutes in. And I should have probably just kept the video running. It's like a fuel cell that I can't find, and I don't know if there's more to this level or not, but we'll see. Oh, 
All right, so we have all six dogs. Well, I mean, the grenades actually look pretty good. All right, so we gotta go deal with the helicopter. You know, the helicopter that I've been shooting at for the last, oh, technically in this gameplay, hour, two hours? I'm getting lost. All right, free to the rescue. Oh, so it's a piece of minigun, got it. That hits absolutely nothing at range and does no damage. Freddy, your gun sucks. Actually, that deep. I mean, it was deep, but I don't think it was that deep. I feel like it was like a little lighter. Yeah, pretty much not the uh, best character to play as well. Like, if you want, like, kind of a spray and pray, set up for that, but if you're looking for damage output, not the character. Oh my god, dude, go down. Oh, hey, I think it's going down. I like how it's not on fire. Oh. All right, see, that That I'm not happy about because essentially it kind of took that from the player. It's not that we Oh, dear God. Oh, I was not expecting that. Please tell me his body's still here. Is it morbid that I want to see that? Maybe a little morbid. Alright, so we gotta find that last dog that... It was hiding right here. Oh, there he is. Hello, pupper. I'm sure you're not evil. Oh my god. But yeah, they kind of took that from me, because like... I shot down the helicopter, but the thing that brought it down... Or the thing that says it, it was a grenade that shot him down, was like, alright, that's cool. He took that from me. I'm not happy about that. There we go. Mission complete. Now is it going to just snap into a cutscene or... Oh, grab the fun, fun key. Uh, so, is that level end? Or is there going to be another part to this level now? Or am I going to have to come back with a different character in order to open up more of the map? Okay, and that's the crowning question. All right. This I was honestly just kind of wasting. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh. huh? Huh. <laughs> Why did you pull the fire alarm for the dogs? Does the game continue or are we done? No, it's still going actually. Okay, cool. Oh, like next level. Neat. Investigate the kennels. I don't remember him pulling the fire alarm for the sake of the dogs. Ah, uh, and there's it. Or, no, the thing, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's about right. I never saw the Umbrella Academy, so I have no idea what the like, I've heard of it. Okay. A little late on Jurassic World, honestly.
I mean, it's cute. Battle Again, Battlestar Galactica. Is that even relevant anymore? Honestly? Again, it's got Pokemon. Then you so far, a lot of what I'm seeing here are things I'm like, is it relevant? The Jurassic World maybe is kind of questionable, but the thing is old. Again, Hot Fuzz. I mean, it's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. Hot Fuzz was a good movie. I enjoyed it. But... Is it relevant? Oh Jesus Christ! And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, ah. Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets I'm of the so Grayskull. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! But the invincible is really wrong. It's the mummy! Who cares about the mummy? Fight as crazy and it sense. Jaws again. I don't know what the hell Nope is. Is that all the properties that they're gonna have in this? Oh, and Team Fortress. Please get the Team Fortress unpacked. So if you wishlist the game, you'll get the Team Fortress pack. Um. Okay. So oh, we have Freddy now. Is it all right? So you know what? Let's hit continue because I'm curious to see what happens. All right. So we can come back here as Freddy. Um. That is the way back upstairs. They're just chilling in there waiting. And this takes us back to the thing, so we don't really need to go back there. I was kind of thinking that maybe I had to open something. I don't know. They're way too... No, that's not what we want at all or need to at all. Um... This has to go downstairs. I can't go downstairs. Let's see, when we first started this save... Alright, well, yeah, when we first started the save, he showed us the four main characters, the characters of the thing. And then it showed that there were four other characters that we didn't have access to. So, with that said... I want to see if there's anything else that I'm missing. If you haven't done so already, feel free to join our Discord link in the description below. And I'd also really appreciate if you guys could subscribe. Uh, before we leave, tell me in the comment section, do you guys want to see me play more of this game when it releases? What are your thoughts of Funko Fusion? And are you aware if they're going to be adding any other properties to this game other than what they've already shown? Like, you know, Master of the Universe and so forth. So tell me in the comment section your thoughts. Uh, but with that said, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, Freddy doesn't seem to be having a good time right now. But I will see you all on the next one. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Later, people.